all you cool cats and welcome back to Dungafrump Ultra Despair Girls where we are off into the sewers with Shirokuma. Um, I guess we're, we're trying to find the secret hideout where all the adults are, are hiding from, uh, from the crazy kids. <clears throat> or at least the surviving adults. Oh, he's got a little worker hat on his head. Or can oh, there are Monokumas here too. Of course there are. You're here. <laughs> I'm actually recording this episode immediately after the the one I I just uh, recorded. So basically, this is episode eight. What should we do? Is there a way to get across? <laughs> you better not say swim. Polluted water like this is full of bacteria. <laughs> It'll be okay. Just leave it to me. Extend the bridge to get across. There we go. <clears throat> oh no. I'm gonna punish you. Yeah! They're going after Shirakuma. No. Well, I guess you gotta save him. Oh, come on. Yeah! Monokuma's scary! Oh my god, how many do I have to fight? I'm saved! Okay, I'm gonna extend that bridge. Thank you! You could have just extended it earlier! While I was trying to save you. <clears throat> Shirakuma. <laughs> Present? Something came out. Demon hunting. Five warriors have assembled in the cyber city of Toa. They have a single goal. Defeat the demons, the embodiment of evil, and reform the world. And for that noble goal, the demon hunting game was born. <clears throat> By targeting cruel and malicious demons and defeating them, they compete to see which of them can bring the world the closest to the ideal. Will the five warriors triumph over ultimate evil? Oh man, I'm suspicious. Omaru, knock them back and drop them. Oh. Wait, let's go this way. Make sure there's nothing missing down this path. Oh. Present. Violent urge. Max batteries. Well, might as well, right? Oh, there's a sparkle on the other side of those boxes. Monokuma. Does that mean it's bad? Hold on. Let's test. Top 100 sweets you don't want to miss. Prepare your sweet 
teeth. We have chosen the top 100 sweets to eat in Toa City this spring. Although the city is mostly known for its technology, Toa has tons of other attractions like beautiful sea views and delicious sweets. We are going to introduce these Toa specialties. Um... The letters are smudged here. We can't read, at, read it after that. What's going on? Why did it have to be the one nice file that gets messed up? It's always been like that for me. The one day I go outside, it rains. Whenever I drop money, it's always the highest bill. Hmm. It's like Murphy's Law. The more expensive the item, the more likely it is to break. When you wash your car, it rains. It's not a scientific theory or anything. It's just a theory popularized by pessimists. Oh, are you saying that I must believe in that law because I'm so negative and gloomy? You're saying I can't be a little self-conscious even though I'm ugly? Uh, I didn't say anything like that at all. I just wanted to give you a bit of trivia about an interesting idea, that's all. Uh, None of your business. And if you're going to teach me something, make it more useful next time. Oh? Huh? Information more useful to you? And? For example, just what the hell are you? Let's assume it's true that you have really have no idea why you have an AI loaded inside you. Because you have a consciousness, you should be able to explain what happened up till now in detail. Well, I don't mind explaining, but promise me one thing first. Hmm? Promise. Well, what I'm going to tell you will sound fishy. But if you promise you'll believe me, I'll talk. Hmm. So you're not gonna talk unless we promise? Sounds like a threat. Uh, I just don't want to be doubted. You're right. Fine. We promise. Even if you tell us something crazy, we'll believe you. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. That'll give you the truth. The day I awoke was the day of the... The day I awoke was the first day of the violence, when the Monokumas began their attack. It was right here, just above us. I saw Monokumas attacking adults, and I thought, I have to do something. I painted my body white, and covered my red eye, and found a spot the children don't know about. I made the secret base there. Every time I found an adult, I brought them back there to hide. It's far too suspicious. So you just happened to wake up on the very day the riots start. It's fishy, all right. Even a kid would assume you and the Monokumas have the same origin. I'm pure white inside, just like this body. <laughs> you just painted yourself. And? You feel like confessing that you're a spy? So mean. You promised you wouldn't doubt me. Hmm. <laughs> There's no way I'd keep a verbal promise to a mechanical bear. Uh. Oh, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Hmm. Even I think it sounds a bit strange, but right now the only thing we can do is believe him. Believe in a Monokuma? I'd put more faith in a sham marriage. It's a good thing I don't miss like these little sparkles, because I feel like you'd you'd miss out a lot on like the the story. No, oh, what is this nonsense? I can already tell I'm not gonna like this. We can't get across here either. It's alright. Once again, just leave it to me. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I have a bad feeling about this. Just wait a bit here. I can extend the bridge just like last time. <laughs> Came out. Why do you look so happy about that? <laughs> They're going after Shirakuma. This is bad. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> oh that bomb guy. Back. Yeah! Scary. Redemption achievement unlocked. Start counting.
should have done it earlier. Oh my god. Blocking that way. So we're going Looks that like way. the children have gotten bored of this game. Guess this is how games get forgotten. For some reason, that sounds very critical. Alright. What do I need to do here? Hmm. Rather than fight against them one at a time, we should defeat them all at once. I was so glad to meet you. To tell you the truth, I didn't know what to do when you were born. At the same time, me and your mom were just students, and I'm sorry to admit it, but we had arguments over whether or not to have you. In the end, we decided to get married just before you were born. And maybe we regretted it a little at first. Maybe we were kidding ourselves, but we worked through it. Even while other people our age were playing around and studying, I didn't mind going to work for 12-hour shifts because it was to provide for you and your mom. And I know mom doesn't like to think like that because... As you know, her favorite thing to say is, Life's not about winning or losing, but when I'm with you, I feel like I'm winning. I feel like I'm defeating the old me, the me who didn't want to have you, and what his life must be like right now. So to put it simply, I'm so happy I got to meet you. But when you put that helmet on, and controlled those monokumas that killed your own mother, I'm sorry, but all I feel for you is hatred. But even then, I would never think about killing you. But how do I say it? What was the last few years like for you? What did that all mean to you? Did you not think of anything of your own mother or father? Or is this just not the real you and this is just some bad dream? It's such a strange feeling to think that if I am going to die, I at least want my own daughter to do it. I don't know. What the? That's... That's bizarre. I thought all the kids that were involved in this were like... Abused. That didn't sound like a abusive parent, unless they're lying. Is the Monokuma helmet, like, controlling them? Because that would make a lot of sense. I'm always concerned about something coming right around the corner. Where am I going? That way? So I want to make sure I go that way. Yeah, but I kind of took care of them. There's four vent holes. I don't really get it, but why not try going inside them, one after the other? Wouldn't that be dangerous? What if those kids booby trap them or something? Oh, then I guess ignoring it for now is best. <laughs> Well, there's a kid over here we can talk to. Ten birds sit on a fence. An experienced gunman wants to get rid of them with his rifle. How many shots does he need? The air ducts are A, B, C, D from left to right. Make your final answer and crawl in the correct air duct. Is this like a trick question where you only need to shoot once and then you scare away the, the others? A written challenge? Looks like we have to solve the riddle this kid is going to give us. So what I can discern, you get an item if you're right, and Monokuma's attack you if you're wrong. Sounds like a pretty shitty game to me. Let's just ignore the brat and turn around. Wouldn't that just be running away from this kid's challenge? 
It would be shameful. Why do you care so much about this? <laughs> she gets strangely worked up about like these challenges from the kids. I'm gonna guess that it's C. You only need to shoot one and you scare away the other nine. I've heard of like this, if I'm, if I'm wrong then I'm wrong. Okay, I'm right. I've heard this, uh, this, this riddle before. Boosh! Who's the boss? Boo hoo! So, the answer was C, one shot. If the gunman shoots his gun just once, all the birds will get scared and fly away. So the answer is one. T, you had to think outside of the box for that one. Good work, Brain Age. 100%. <laughs> Does anyone remember that game, Brain Age? Yay! You're amazing! Heck yeah! I'll never lose against kids. Yeah, I sure hope not. What was in the present? Oh, please don't fight. Back in the old days, I was the favorite. These old stories again? You're living in the past. That was the prize? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I've, I've heard that, um, that, that, um, that, that question before. It wasn't the same, but it was similar re like it had a similar solution and it I'm trying to remember exactly how it went. But the other thing I know is um my uh my old job uh used to be helping uh order parts for airplanes and uh I remember one of the most fascinating jobs that I that I heard of when I first started working there was about like the job where you shoot um there's like a car that or a truck or whatever that goes around before a plane takes off and shoots his gun to scare away birds and here we are cause otherwise like birds will get into like the uh if, if you look at a plane there's like um I, I feel like I have to explain this because otherwise it doesn't make any sense the front of the plane where where like you'll see like the little I don't know how to describe it the the spinning turbine looking things underneath the wings um, if birds go in there it just causes problems and that's another thing if you uh, if you ever get to see at a stationary uh, uh, plane you'll notice that like in the middle of the turbines is like this little I don't know how to describe the, the little uh, design, but when it's moving and it's spinning, it looks like... This is what I've heard. I don't know if this is true, and I should probably fact check this, but this is what I was told by the mechanics, and now I wonder if they were pulling my leg. But apparently that design makes it look like an eagle eye, or like a, like a predatory bird eye, which is supposed to scare away birds from going near that. Like, it's supposed to look like a big predatory bird. And, um... Birds are less likely to go there, but but also like there's a truck that goes around before a plane, uh, before a plane takes off, and just fires his gun to like scare away the birds. So I know that it only takes one shot to do it too. Um, so they fire like one shot and scare away the birds out there. There's supposed to be a secret base here. I knew it. You tricked us, Omaru. Don't hold back. Shoot this traitor. You're wrong! The secret <laughs> base is up here when you climb the ladder! Come on! Follow me! Ooh, what do you think you're doing? You have to climb the ladder first. Huh? Why is that? We might both be girls, but I'd die if you saw my underwear. Well then, even if I see them on accident, I'll be sure not to tell you. <laughs> see? Right here. Okay, come on in, you guys. Oh, 
there are adults, I guess. Well, he was telling the truth. So many adults here. I never expected there'd be an underground base like this. It's an old warehouse where they used to store water tanks. The kids don't know about it. Um, what's with those trailers? I brought them here to make it a little easier for everyone to live. <laughs> Aren't I strong? I might not look like it, but I'm built the same way as a Monokuma. Oh, uh, I think you are. You do look like you're built the same way as a Monokuma. Might not look like it? <laughs> you look exactly like a Monokuma. Since you're here, you might as well talk to everyone. You can talk to me after. one-sided idiot. It's not like I want to talk to them. The ones who just came in look pretty young. You better not be on the side of the kids. Uh, of course not. Exactly what part of this voluptuous body is childish? <laughs> well, if Shirakuma brought you guys, we don't have to worry. We can trust him. Were you also brought here by Shirakuma? Yeah, all the people here were. We were all saved by Shirakuma. But hey, sorry to be rude, but I don't really feel like talking. You can chat with someone else. Okay, adult A. <laughs> Was that guy in a bad mood or something? Hmm. He just doesn't understand, acting all aloof. He doesn't know real cool. I want Master Byakuya to teach him a lesson. Wait, no. I want Master Byakuya to teach me a lesson. <laughs> Look at her eyes. They're jiggling about. <laughs> I'm trying to look for any sparkles, and I don't see any. Wait, wait, wait. Sparkle. Mystery of the Massacring Monokumas. With the tragedy in the shadows, the investigation and research on the machines known as Monokumas is being led by the Ill illustrious Toa group. Who developed them? Who manufactured them? And other mysteries surrounding the Monokumas will soon be made known to the public. Um, are you hurt? Are you okay? Uh, it's pretty bad, don't you think? The kids did it. If Shirakuma hadn't been there to save me, I would have been... He risked his life. Shirakuma. Shirakuma saved our lives. If he weren't around, everyone here would be dead by now. Well, this is adult B. <laughs> you saw his wounds, right? He got those trying to help us all. I can't thank him enough. <laughs> Actually thanking a Monokuma. Don't do that! Don't bump him in with the other Monokumas! Mm. Toko, I don't think... Even if you're suspicious of Shirokuma, I don't think you should be dissing him in front of these people. They're probably not so likely to to like to hear it. Plus, since we well we while we aren't kids, we d we aren't exactly adults either. So, very likely someone will just assume. Toko, you don't have to be so prickly. I just said how I feel. Jeez, what kind of world is this? I mean, I, I think Toko's justified in her suspicions. But I also know that there are times that you just kind of got to keep that stuff to yourself. Especially when you're outnumbered. Oh, you're not a... You're not like uh, everyone um, else. Hello. She kind of reminds me of Kyoko. Yeah. Kyoko with the cigarette. <laughs> and boobs. What a rude woman. Not so friendly, is she? Well, sorry about that. <laughs> you heard that? I have sharp ears. I can even hear things I don't want to hear. It's a pain. If you two plan on staying here, it might be better if you cover your ears as much as possible. Because eventually, you'll get sick of it. Sick of it? I can't really get along with the people here. If you're so unsatisfied with this place, why don't you just leave? Well, that's a good point. 
Staying here isn't going to improve the situation any, but what I can accomplish by myself is limited. Since that's the case, I'm better off being here. Uh, uh, that wristband! Your wristband's the same too, right? This is my first time meeting an ally. Are you a target in those brats game too? Yeah, how about that? Of all people, I can't believe I was turned into a toy for those kids. Um, are there others like us who have wristbands on them? Well, I'm not sure about the precise number, but there are plenty. The others are somewhere in this town, probably shuddering in fear. If possible, I want to save them and bring them here. Save? You? No, of course not me personally, but some of the adults here. Listen, everyone other than Shirakuma isn't allowed outside, but they can sneak out. Actually, sometimes I have adults bring back cigarettes from the outside. <laughs> I can't believe they actually listen to you. It's not hard. I use a woman's special charm. It's especially effective in situations like this. Of course, you girls aren't full adults yet, so you won't be able to really use your charm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's the gist of it. If you ever see someone with a wristband or clues, let me know. We have to save them before they get killed off by the brats. Yeah, understood. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. The name's Hiroko Hagakure. I'm once divorced and currently single. What? My age is a secret. You're... You're his mom? Maybe it's, maybe it's his sister. Maybe it's like an older sister. My name is Komaru Naegi. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Hagakure? What a surprise. Doesn't seem like the older sister. Maybe the mother? The one muttering over there. What's your name? It's Toko Fukawa. Okay, noted. You're Coco and Fufu. <laughs> Why did you use my last name? Who cares? Worrying over little details is bad for the skin, hon. Jeez, half-assing it. You two are definitely related. Should I give the hit list to Miss Hagakure? Hand over. Oh... Let's give her Yuda's first, I guess. Um, Achievement unlocked. Hit the lists. About this. Hmm. Oh, uh, don't tell me. You're right. Yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. A hit list made by those kids for hunting down targets. Um, I picked it up on my way here. One of the children must have dropped it. <sighs> One minute they're going around killing adults, the next they're dropping their homework. Pretty creepy, but definitely childlike. But... It's beyond creepy, it's psychotic. It's like baking a delicious cake only to take pictures of it instead of eating it. Aww. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Hmm. Um, setting aside the cake for now, let's take a look at the list. Hand over. Yeah, I read this. Hmm. Why the long face? Before we picked up the list, we met Yuda. Hmm. Oh, how's he doing? Why isn't he with you? Hmm. Yuda died. The wristband is built to explode if you try to get outside of Toa City. He didn't know that. And he tried to swim out, exploded, died. Unforgivable! Dude, that's just unforgivable. Huh? D dude? What the? An innocent kid losing his life to some crazy ass kids. No matter what you think, it shouldn't be allowed. Hey, Miss Hagakure? Unforgivable! They might be kids, but they're gonna get their just desserts. It'll cost them 
at least a finger. What's going on? I'm sorry, you said you were a former delinquent? Huh? <laughs> hey, Miss Hagakure. Just kidding. Oops. My past self came through a little bit there. That was totally not a little. <sighs> but more importantly, that's just terrible. An explosion, huh? Poor guy. Um, he tried to get help for all of us. If he, if he never met us, he wouldn't have. <laughs> it's not your fault, Coco. All boys really want to do is act cool in front of girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. It was just, it's just hard to think about. I'm fine. It's gonna be all right. Hey, it's fine. If you're gonna be down, you should go as far as you'd like. The more down you are, the easier it is to stand up a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Hmm. The older, the wiser, huh? If he really is a blood relative, I wonder if that occult idiot might actually grow useful. Hmm? Did you say something, Togo? Nothing. No, no, just talking to myself. <laughs>